I'll tell you a story. There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, and set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth and wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country, who sent him to his field to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have food to spare? And here I am, starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. So he got up and went to his father. But wow, he was still a long way off. His father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For the son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. Meanwhile, the older son was in the field. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked him what, is, what, was, going on? what was going on. Your brother has come, he replied. And your father has killed the fattened calf because he, is, because he has him back safe and sound. The older brother, he became angry, and he refused to go in. So his father went out and pleaded with him. But he answered his father, Look, all these years I've been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours who has squandered your property with prostitutes comes home, you kill a fattened calf for him? My son, the father said, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now he is found. One of the things I really want to point out on this, a lot of times when I've heard this sermon going around from people, they want to point out the fact that the, 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 the kid left and was living in squander. I mean, he was living with pigs. And, I mean, he, he, he was willing to eat what the pigs were eating. I mean, he, he wished he could eat what the pigs were eating, you know. And when he, when he decided to go home, and he really had true repentance, and he and he really felt bad for what he'd done. When when he finally came home, you know, instead of you would think, you know, and expect that his father would act like his brother acted, but the reality is his father had compassion for him, and that's what it said. He was filled with compassion for him, and so he brought him a robe, a ring, and he told the servants to get ready to fatten calf. Well, as you see, that angered the brother. And the brother was angry because he's always there. But if you take that lesson to heart and realize, just like what he said, everything he has is his. That brother could have had the fattened calf any time he wanted to have the fattened calf. Maybe he just never asked. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. And I think those last words are the truest words as they come. I once was lost, now I'm found. Amen. Bring it back.